2005 Honda Integra Type R. As you can see, it's the facelift model. So you've got slightly different lights, slightly different front and rear bumpers, um, and a couple of other tweaks. It is in vivid blue, which for me is one of my favorite colors on these. So many white and black cars knocking about. This blue really stands out. This car was uh, imported to the UK by GT Culture when it was seven months old um, for the guy that still owns it now. So it has had one UK owner. It was a one owner Japanese car before it left uh, Japan. Um, we still have, or with the, with the history file, we have the um, export documents, the grading documents, everything from Japan, which is really nice. Um, he's obviously cherished it for a long, long time. You know, he's had it, what's it, 17 years. Um, we'll start by having a look at the bodywork and then we'll move on to the interior, start it up, all that sort of stuff. If we look down this driver's side, you can see lovely and straight all the way down there. There's no ripples or dents or anything like that. On this front corner, the bumper meets the wing, exactly as it should. It's all nice and clean on that front bumper corner. The wing itself is lovely and tidy. All the panels are all the same colour blue. It's not had any nasty paintwork or anything like that. This arch lovely and solid all the way around. It's on the correct original wheels. They've just been refurbed um, along with the calipers. Um, and it's got a set of pretty much brand new by the looks of things. Michelin Pilot Sport 4s on it. So again, really good sign of ownership. You're not putting those kind of tyres on a car you don't care about. Panel gaps for the door to the wing are lovely and straight all the way down, as you can see. Moving down that driver's door, there's not a mark or a scratch on it. It's really, really good. Car's that shiny, you're going to see more of me than you are of the car, so I do apologise for that. Around the wing mirror, all nice and clean. All the plastics are lovely and, and dark. They're not dried out or brittle or anything like that. Got no stone chips up the A pillar. The roof... Lovely and straight, no ripples or dents on it. There's a little mark somewhere. I'm sure I've seen one from a bird poo. Oh yeah, there it is. You can only just see it if I move the camera from a bird poo, but I am being really picky at this point. All the glass, nice and clear. It has, uh, obviously the original Honda Central locking, but we also have uh, a proper alarm set up as well, a towed one, which is, the stick is here. Got two sets of keys, two sets of fobs, all that sort of stuff, all works as it should. This lower, Side skirt all the way along, lovely and clean. If we go down a little bit lower and have a look underneath, you can see it's not been rammed up any curves or anything like that. Underneath the car, although it's really dark, is really nice and clean. Around the handle, that's all good. It's not been sort of caught with keys or anything like that. And if we go down the outside of the door, you've got one tiny little mark there, tiny, and that's it. At this rear quarter, um, I've got a tiny little bleb just starting down the bottom here, um, which is a really common area for sort of Integra's, Civics, uh, Yano Evo, stuff with the same sort of thing. And a tiny little one there. They just want sorted out before they get anywhere. So, I mean, the car's been really well cared for, um, but I don't think it's possible for an Integra to avoid that, unfortunately. Um, and again, another brand new wheel with a good Michelin Pilot Sport on it, for, Pilot Sport 4 on it, even. Hole of this rear quarter again, lovely and straight. These body lines are nice and sharp all the way along, as you can see. This pillar, nice and tidy. If we look back down from this side, it's not a ripple or a dent in it, it's really, really good. This rear bumper meets up with the rear quarter and everything nice and straight. Around on the back, both tail lights, lovely and bright, no cracking, no moisture or anything in those. The correct barging on it, it's not got any nasty additional barges or anything like that. Um, all nice and tidy. This rear bumper, nice and clean underneath. And then the spoiler, quite often these get marked from people sort of opening and closing the boot with them. But as you can see, lovely and tidy. Declan itself is good. Massive rear screen, heated, it's tinted. I think they were all tinted from factory to be fair. And again, no sign of any, any corrosion or any marks or anything at all. We've got the original uh, Honda dealer from Japan sticker still on it, which is a nice touch. Normally when these things come in, um, there's no real sort of history or provenance, but we know where it's been, what it's done, what it was graded at, all that kind of stuff. But it was a, effectively a seven month old one owner car when it came in. Another good wheel with a uh, Pilot Sport 4 tire on it again. And again, we've got a little bleb just there. It's just starting to come through. 
Pressed the arch nice and solid. Again, if we down that body line really nice and straight all the way along. Uh, we've got a tiny mark here. We've been really picky here from another bird poo that's been left for a little bit. Um, but again, most of those normally just polish off, don't they? Rear quarter all nice and tidy. I've got one little stone chip just here on the door, but I am being really picky to be fair. Um, and a very light scuff on the wing mirror edge. But again, I mean, we film these things in 4K and you've got to get right into it just to see it. Sides get on this side. Nice and tidy all the way along. Front wing on this side is also good. Another good wheel and that's f that's four out of four matching Pilot Sport 4s. A pillar's nice and tidy. And again, we have another look at the roof from here. We're on the top of the windscreen, that's all good. And more importantly, if we look along this scuttle, no one's cut it for any nasty air intakes or anything like that. It's nice and original, not messed with. Um, obviously, one of the mods on these is to, is to cut along here. Air intake, get some more air in the engine. Front bumper, it's lovely and clean. You've got one or two little stone chips, one there uh, and one there. And a tiny one there. Other than that, lovely and clean. Both headlights. Crystal clear, no marks, no chips, nothing on them. Really, really good on that front valance. You've got a little mark just, just here where it's sort of clipped something at some point, and another tiny one there. But again, it's a 17, 18 year old car. It's gonna have the odd little mark, but it's, you can obviously see it's been very well looked after. On the interior, now we've got, and they're in the boot, I'll show you in a second, a proper fitted set of Integra Type R fitted seat covers which have been on most of the time from what i understand we've taken them off obviously to show you the seats um you need to see them as well really but we'll start on this driver's door card that's lovely and clean all your window switches they've not worn out or anything like that really really good it's had these set this set of mats in from new or from since it came to the uk so the carpet underneath which i know it's a bit dark it's like brand new pedals are lovely and clean it's had a honda s2000 engine start button put in um, which again, it's just on this little piece. You can take it out if you want. So you can either start it on the key or like an S2000, turn the ignition on, hit the button, off you go. So you've got your immobilizer light down there as well. Steering wheel, really, really good. And we'll turn the ignition on because I just want to show you the mileage, but it's, it's exactly what you'd expect for this kind of miles. So we're on 49,948 miles. Um, and the car looks like it. So it's, you know, steering wheel, no real signs of anywhere at all. Center console is all really good. It has a Pioneer uh, double in head unit put in, which is a relatively recent one. Um, it's a DIVX mix track, if that means anything to you. Uh, but it's got DAB and phone connectivity and all that kind of stuff. Top of the dash, lovely and clean. Headlining is like brand new, really good. There's no marks or anything on that. And then obviously the most important bit, obviously the Type R's came with these Recaros. In the blue cars, they came with blue ones. And so on, you've got a little bit of wear on here, but actually I would say, to be fair, I've seen worse come back to good with a good steam clean. It tightens them all up. Should look like that, pretty much like brand new. That one, it's just got a little bit of creasing in it. There's no no rips, no tears. Always looks worse on a camera because it's Alcantara. If I move my finger up and down, you can see how it changes. Um, but the rest of it, lovely and clean and tidy. Really, really good all the way through. Um, and then they're obviously tilt back so you can get into the back seats. Rear bench and all the carpets and everything in here are really, really good. Sorry it's so dark. It's been one of those rainy, grey, horrible days in here today. Um, and the back of the seat, really, really good. No sign of anywhere or anything at all on that. We'll move around into the boot. Like I say, the spoiler's not been stressed from people lifting it up and down, as you can see. Really, really good. So in here we have two brand new... Or brand new condition, you should say. Um, Integra Type R seat covers, so we'll pop them out the way. Like I say they've been on for quite a while. Really good. We it's on a set of lowering springs, but we've got the correct original springs, uh, and we've got the correct original air box. Should you want to put that back on, so they are all there. Um, it's, those are pretty common mods for this car, so most people I would imagine would want to leave it like that. But if you do want to put it back a standard, they're all there, and it's got a load cover in, which is from. I think a CRV, I can't remember, um, but it's a hard covered load thing. It's just to keep everything clean. 
and obviously as you can see the carpet sets and everything are like brand new it just shows you how well this thing's been looked after parcel shelf with the mesh is all still there lovely and clean and tidy as you can see um, but again it's a good sign of how well this thing's been cared for for the last 17 years nice clean passenger side door card the passenger seat it's a bit lighter on the side actually we can have a proper look as well Lovely and clean. Like I say, that Alcantara always looks a bit dirty. But if we get nice and close, you can see it's really clean. Tiny little crease on this side and a tiny little one here. Again, a good steam clean tightens them right up. And they will look like that. Rest of the seat, lovely and clean. Like I say, the carpet set's been protected from new, so it's brilliant. Even the original date stamps are still on the stickers, on, on the seats from uh, from when the car left Japan. Aircon blows nice and cold. I've I've driven it down the road, it drives beautifully. Really nice and tight. These tires make a huge difference. There's nothing worse than a quick car on cheap tires. I right, have to excuse some dodgy camera work, we'll get this bonnet pinned up. So in here, it's all nice and clean. Around the strut tops and everything, they're really good. No sign of any corrosion or anything like that. All your plaques and everything are nice and visible. It's good all the way along there. You've got a little bit of a bit of surface corrosion there where the where the catch is just from just being scraped basically. But other than that, it's easy to see why someone turbos a supercharger. There's a big old hole there for it. But other than that, lovely and clean, lovely and tidy. Engines sort of unmodified, it's it's not been upgraded or anything like that. It is a standard uh type R engine, exactly what you'd expect. Starting it up, like I say, you can either turn it on the key or you can turn the ignition on and hit the button. I believe you need your foot on the clutch there. Oh no, you don't, I'm lying to you. What we need to do is turn the immobilizer off. So hit the button once, that light will go orange, key in, hit the button, fire straight up. I'm going to go straight around the back. No sign of any smoke or anything coming out the back there. If we look at the dash, 49,948 miles. The lights we've got on are for the handbrake, which we can take off and then door open and then there's someone in there with no seatbelt on, so all pretty standard. They all obviously go off as soon as you shut the door, uh, which I'll show you. And then obviously when you put your seatbelt on, as you can see. Lovely and smooth in there. Like I say, I've briefly taken it down the road. It drives as good as it looks, lovely and tight. Pulls nice and strong. There's no nasty smoke when the VTEC comes in or anything like that. It's exactly as you'd want it to be. So there you have it. 2005 Vivid Blue DC5 Integra Type R. If you've got any questions, please let us know. We're happy to send extra photos or videos, or if you can get up to us, we are here every day for viewings. Let us know when you want to come. We'll uh, we'll make sure someone's available to show you around the car. We can start it up. We can have a look at the paperwork, whatever you might need. Like I say, just get in touch. Thank you.